production in musical theater. I mean, did you have any struggles getting to where you are now, Simon? I think every, I mean, every time you, you enter into something, it's going to be, I mean, not necessarily, not necessarily a struggle, but there are always going to be, there's always going to be massive competition for every role because now, especially now, which I think everyone is finding, there's so much more competition for roles because there are so many more actors. If that's just a fact, I mean, there's, there's so many now in London that every role you go up for, you're going up against hundreds of people. So Do you have time for relationships, Simon? Well, I mean, no. <laughs> not really. No. Well, I, have, I haven't quite seemed to find the balance uh, yet. I'm very lucky. Um, yes. I met my wife um, when I, was, I went home to Dublin for the first time in ages. So I, I very rarely work at home in Dublin. Um, and I was invited to go back to a show called Sweeney Todd. And um, I met my wife there. And she was um, doing the play in the same theatre. When I finished on the Saturday, her play was opening on the Monday. And I happened to meet her in the bar because we had friends who were friends. And, um, and we met and it was just like kind of instant. And... And we're now four years married this year, and our daughter is 15 months Aww. old. And this is an exclusive, actually. I haven't wow. told anybody this. I'm going to tell everyone this now. <laughs> My wife is going to kill me. And we just found out we're expecting our second. Oh, All right! Congratulations! congratulations. IFM gets an exclusive. <laughs> tell us about it. the worst, kind of most embarrassing mishap, if any. I've fallen over so many times. <laughs> I've lost count. It happens. You're doing eight shows a week. Mm -hmm. um, things happen. I mean, it just, you know, technical things change. You know, the set doesn't come on when it's meant to come on, or all sorts of things happen. I had, when I was doing a show called Miss Saigon, um, uh, I think halfway through the first verse of the my big number, Why God Why, and um, I just completely blanked and forgot my words. Mm -hmm. And so I just started making stuff up. <laughs> I'm talking about this girl, how Who's pretty she was. I was just, yeah, I was like, oh, she's so pretty, and she smells lovely, all this, I did random stuff, and nobody noticed. That's what's really embarrassing. Was it an English-speaking audience? Yeah, well, no, my, even my, my co-star didn't even notice, and she was right beside <laughs> me. I mean, you do have these times when your, your mind kind of shifts to a different place, occasionally, because mm -hmm. obviously when you do it for so long, like, sometimes the, you know, your brain just goes somewhere else. So, I've made up plenty of words about people to scratch you on stage. I've changed plot. You know? Oh, <laughs> and hopefully people haven't people haven't noticed too much. Uh, count of three. Who's your favorite James Bond? Pierce Brosnan. Okay. Likewise. And you, same, David. Same. We we've had this discussion quite a lot together before we even started. Pierce Brosnan. Can I love say him. I love Daniel Craig as Bond? Oh, me too. Yeah, yeah. I think he's great. <laughs> he's getting so much. The, yeah. I think the films are now serving him better, aren't yeah. they? Yes. So we we said this before. Yeah. I think that um, if I'd love to have seen Pierce Brosnan with the movies they have now. Because I think he's, we, we, as we've said this a lot, um, you know, this week and also before, because we talk about it a lot, because we were Bond geeks, um, <laughs> is that uh, that he didn't have great movies. Oh, yeah, yeah. But did did it spoil it for you when he did Mamma Mia? Oh, I think. oh. <laughs> oh. Next next question, it spoiled it for next me. Question. <laughs> next question. All right. So who would, who would play Bond in this one? Would he? We have to we have to share it. I think. Yeah, <laughs> we couldn't possibly say. Yeah. Oh, I'll do it because there's no way. It it could be a uh, one of those. Um, Older and younger scenes, you know, Ooh, time traveling or something. Sorry, hold on, what? <laughs> <laughs> I knew, what, what are you, I knew you were about here? to say it, but I thought, tread carefully. You have right. just dug a really deep <laughs> hole. Yeah, Steve. We had to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I dragged you into this as well. You're <laughs> <laughs> very quiet here. Mysterious David Shannon. But you need to <laughs> tease us by. With a snippet. With a snippet of it. Arm yourself because no one else here will save you. The odds will betray you. And I will replace you Can't deny the prize that we never fulfill you It longs to kill you Are you willing to die? The coldest blood runs through my veins You know my name Whoa! What was that? <laughs> That was, that was good amazing! All the best for the show. License to Thrill is happening this weekend, 14th, 15th, and 16th of November. And uh, I believe the Sunday show is an afternoon matinee yes, show, right? It's right. happening at Istana yeah. Budaya. Yes. Where can we get tickets? Uh, Air Asia Red Tickets. Fantastic. Wow, well, done. <laughs> well, thank you guys. Thank you.